What if I told you I could solve the problem of guys not approaching women or guys approaching women who don't want to be approached? Let's talk about it. So the other day I made a YouTube short on this. It was an idea that occurred to me and I was like, yeah, why not? It sounds interesting. But the more I thought about it, the more I think this actually would work. The idea is wristbands. You know, those little silicone ring, you know, wristbands we, we wear for various causes and, and events and whatever. We already have a problem where men don't approach women because they don't know what kind of reaction they're gonna get. And the potential bad reaction, not just a no, but, but like getting embarrassed, being yelled at, having a drink thrown at them, getting slapped, whatever, just for coming over and saying hello is too high. Because look, there's, there's gonna be a whole lot of just, no, we're not interested. And then there's gonna be some bad ones. And then there's gonna be some good ones. And the number of good ones tends to be very small. Just life. But if the number of bad ones has increased, now guys go, it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. It's not, the risk to reward ratio is not there. So we don't approach. Women are complaining about this all the time. If you, if you go on social media, it is a huge thing. And the problem on their side is the toxic guys approach. They're still getting offers from toxic guys. They're not getting offers from high value men, or at least not toxic. Because the non-toxic guys don't feel like taking that risk. We don't feel like getting mentally and emotionally abused by somebody just for coming over and introducing ourselves. So we don't shoot that shot. We don't go over and say hello which means we miss the times you did want us to, right? Because we're clueless. Those little signs you thought you were giving us, yeah, sorry, we, we totally missed this. And you can, you can watch an entire YouTube series on these signs. And the problem is we will misinterpret those signs and think we're getting them from somebody who is then going to tear into us for coming over and saying hello. Or worse, they were giving those signs to the guy next to us who then left and went to the bathroom and we walked over, wrong guy. So now she's double pissed. So the wristbands solve this. Now it doesn't mean you're going to be on board and just, yeah, absolutely everything's wonderful. But let's look at this rationally. If a woman chooses to wear the green wristband or a group of women are wearing green wristbands, I can reasonably make an assumption that at the very worst, I'm going to be told, we're not interested, thank you for your time. Or not even that polite, no, okay. Moving on. But I'm probably not going to get laughed at. I'm probably not going to get verbally assaulted. <laughs> I'm not going to get physically assaulted, right? This is just going to be a little awkward and I go on my way. If you choose to wear a red wristband, which I think is unnecessary because guys are already not approaching, but hey, it's an option. You wear a red wristband, that's a definite stay away. A green is a definite, hey, at least take my chance, right? But a red is telling even the toxic guys, hey, leave us alone. It's a girl's night out, we don't feel like being bothered. We're doing our thing. Now, to be fair, the toxic guys are still gonna come over, right? They're gonna view that as a challenge. But that's fine, they had their warning. When, when you slap them, when you throw a drink in their face, uh, you know, you're still wrong, because that's, that's actually abuse. Uh, that's assault and battery. But at least you warned them ahead of time. So look, Everybody wins, right? I think you could even color code this further if you really wanted to. Because, hey, you can put a color code on your green wristband saying, hey, I'm approachable by women. I'm approachable by men. Or I'm approachable by both. I don't care. Now you've even limited it so that, hey, you're at a bar and you don't mind women coming in and saying hello, but you'd really have, prefer to have the guys leave you alone. No problem. This is going to give the decent guys, the guys who don't want to be, they don't want to be annoying. They don't want to be that creeper, right? But they're sick of being treated like that creeper just for making a, a reasonable hello. It gives them a little extra nudge that, hey, my odds are better, right? At very least, I'm probably not going to get treated poorly when I get told no, and my odds of getting a yes, my odds of getting a phone number, my odds of getting to sit down and you know, have a chat 
or higher. That's what it's going to take. Because otherwise, it's not looking good. This is just getting worse and worse. Uh, this problem is something that is self-perpetuating because the guys who do approach, well, more and more, they're the toxic ones because the non-toxic ones give up. We, we go, this is not working. We're going to meet women other ways. And the problem is it's not working. But then more women are being approached percentage-wise by the toxic ones. More, more approaches percentage-wise are by the toxic guys. So women go, well, all guys are toxic, which then more discourages the non-toxic ones. Spiral, spiral, spiral. If we don't break that spiral, we got problems, uh, right? It, it's just, it's going down. If you think this is a decent idea, feel free to share it. Do not need to give me credit, although I wouldn't mind if you shared this video. Uh, wristbands are cheap. Doing the colors doesn't you know, require anything special. I'm not saying we have to get these custom made. You can literally go on the internet and order these in large volumes relatively cheaply. If you are a bar, I think this is a great idea. If you are a club, I think this is a great idea. If you are some sort of social gathering, if you are just, hey, you and a group of friends because it's cheaper if you buy them in, in a little bit of volume. Uh, but even if you don't, it's cheap. Just saying. Anyway, take care, have fun, stay safe, everybody, and let's have some fun.